up? It's Pop DiBiase here with none other than Coach Shaw from uh, Stanford University, uh, the great Stanford University. How's everything going with you today, Coach? It's going great. We're on the verge of the, of the NFL draft, and it's exciting. All right, so how many more Andrew Lux do you have uh, hiding there up, up there in uh, Palo Alto? There's only one of those. There's one of those, the old phase that, uh, that God made him and broke the mold, but we've got a good young quarterback that I think will be here one day. All right, so what are you thinking about next year with the Pac-12? Do you think that the conference is going to be a little bit deeper now that we have Lincoln Riley coaching USC? Uh, UCLA seems to kind of step, kind of stepped it up a little bit because now they got a Jordan deal. So pretty much, you know, we got the South. And do you think you'll get anything out of your rivals up north, Cal, this year? I'm talking about who's going to win California in the Pac-12. You know, it's going to be crazy. Um, Lincoln Riley's added another element to Southern California. Chip Kelly's done a great job rebuilding that, that franchise down there. Um, Utah's done an outstanding job really getting going, and they're a big physical team. Um, I think we had a down year last year, but I think we're about to make the rebound. We had a tough time with Cal. Cal's got a great defensive coach and a great defense, and so there's a lot of crazy things. I mean, nobody wants to hear it, but John Smith has done a great job at Oregon State. They're a tough team to beat right now. They've got talent. They've got ability. So as usual, the Pac-12 is going to be crazy. Now, do you think the conference in a whole still gets a little bit of a slight from the rest of the nation? I've been, I'm from L.A., so I know what you've been dealing with forever. You know, we got the Rose Bowl game. It's kind of they get a little jealous about that situation as well, too. Do you feel like the conference has produced just as many great NFL players as the other conferences, Power Fives? Well, you know, when you look at teams uh, throughout the year and how many guys are on rosters, um, you see that that's the case. Um, yeah, we're one that nobody nobody puts us in that upper echelon, but on average we've had about 30 guys uh, in the NFL on rosters every year. Um, so our conference has been putting guys in over the years, and you'll see it again this year, right? You'll see a top flight defensive end get, get picked. You'll see maybe two corners go in the top. You'll see a uh, receiver go uh, in the top ten potentially. So right. there is that great talent out here on the West. All right, right. So – who do you see as the best player in this draft? If you were a GM, who would you be selected? Aiden Hutchinson. Without hesitation, defensive end, outside linebacker, or outside edge rusher from Michigan. Big, long, athletic, fast, violent, um, great leadership, great production. Um, to me, he's, he's the best player in the draft. All right, so I know you don't want to put any predictions on your team or anything like that, but how do you assess the Stanford Cardinal going into 2022? Honestly, uh, I think we're primed to be very, very good. Um, we'll have a quarterback that's extremely talented that played as a young guy last year that I think is going to take the next step. We've got three NFL caliber receivers that I think are all potential top three round guys. We've got a tight end that we think is going to be the best tight end uh, on the West Coast. And we've got a veteran offensive line. So we have an opportunity to play the game, I believe, on the offense at a high level. Um, I think we have one of the top corners in America, and Caillou Kelly. Um, could have gone out and been maybe a second or third round draft pick. He's got a chance to come back and be a first round draft pick next year. Um, we've got a lot of talent around him. So um, I think we're prized and poised, as po and poised as most people look at everybody else to lead the conference. And I think we're going to surprise some people. All right. Good stuff to hear. Uh, Coach Shaw, thank you so much. It's Pop DiBiase, Fanatics View. You already know what time it is, NFL Draft 2022, and we are signing out.